Go Vikings, let's win the game. The number 77 and the name Corey Stringer will always be associated with that horrible summer of 2001. He was here today, gone tomorrow. Everything in life there is no explanation for. Welcome everybody here this afternoon. It's with Two weeks heart. after Stringer's death, the, the pain was still raw as the team gathered to plant a tree in his memory. They put it next to Gage Towers, where Stringer and the Vikings stayed during training camp. But only God will have that tree grow. The tree did grow until 2013. The school tore Gage Towers down, and suddenly Corey Stringer's tree was in peril. Uh, the tree is, is a symbolic of, of the day and the uh, event. Bruce Lieberman and his ground staff managed to move the tree from the ashes at first. It lasted about two years and then it declined. The tree couldn't survive the stress of the move. His life is so precious. And Associate Athletic Director Paul Allen says Minnesota State knew it needed to do something. So it grew this new birch tree across the street, now in its infancy, with the original plaque placed underneath. For a lot of people around, it's sort of a stark reminder of, of what happened that day. The tree is within eyesight of the very practice fields, where Stringer collapsed 17 years ago. We hosted the Vikings for 52 years. Corey Stringer was here his entire NFL career. This is the only place that Corey Stringer ever went to training camp was here in Mankato, and so it's kind of nice that we can uh, keep this legacy intact. Especially for a future generation of students who will get to know Corey Stringer long after he's gone. Danny Spiewak, Care 11 News.